If you're curious about how to track link clicks in Google Analytics 4 with WordPress, this video is going to walk you step by step through exactly what you need to do to make link click tracking a whole lot easier. Let's get started. GA4 does track some link clicks, but not all of them are tracked by default. Now to track those clicks, you're going to have to manually set up event tracking using Google Tag Manager or custom code, not to mention that setting up reporting in GA4 can be difficult. Now, if you're not familiar with GA4, you might need to hire an expert or a developer to help you to set up click tracking. But if you're using WordPress, Monster Insights makes setting up and configuring advanced tracking in Google Analytics really easy. All right, to get started, you'll need to download Monster Insights and install it on your WordPress site. So first, you'll need to head over to monsterinsights.com and log into your account. And next, under the Downloads tab, download the zip file to your computer. Now. Upload the plugin to your WordPress website. To do that, log into your WordPress site and then on the admin sidebar, go to plugins and now click add new. Next, click upload plugins and select the zip file that you just downloaded. Then click the install now button. And once it's installed, click the activate plugin button. Now just use our easy to follow setup wizard to connect analytics to your WordPress site. Don't worry, you don't have to touch a line of code. Our setup wizard makes it simple. But if you need a little help getting started, see the link in the description to our step-by-step -step guide on how to properly set up Google Analytics and Monster Insights. Once it's set up, you'll see an overview report on the Monster Insights dashboard widget. Now to view detailed reports about your site, all you have to do is go to Insights and then go to Reports from the WordPress dashboard. All right, now let's see how to make Google Analytics 4 track link and button clicks. First, we'll look at tracking affiliate links. Using a plugin like Pretty Links, you can make your links look nice and assign them with a trackable prefix. And then once you tell Monster Insights what prefix you're using, you can see that data on your WordPress dashboard. Or if you're using Thirsty Affiliates to manage your affiliate links, you don't need to configure anything at all. We've integrated that right into the plugin and it will automatically track your affiliate links. You can view your affiliate links tracking reports by going to your sidebar and then go to Insights and then click Reports and then go to the Publisher's Report. And you can always click the View All Affiliate Reports button at the bottom of the report to see even more data in Google Analytics. If you want detailed instructions, I'll leave a link in the description to our complete guide on setting up affiliate link tracking. Now let's look at e-commerce tracking. Monster Insights e-commerce tracking helps you track all the data that you need for your WooCommerce, Easy Digital Downloads, GiveWP, Lifter LMS, MemberPress, or Restrict Content Pro. All you need to do is install and activate the Monster Insights e-commerce add-on. Now to do that, navigate to Insights and go to Add-ons and find the e-commerce add-on and then click the Install button. Then the e-commerce report will show you the total number of clicks for your Add to Cart buttons, Remove from Cart buttons, and Completed Purchases. Next, we'll show you how to track forms. With Monster Insights form tracking add-on, you can view which forms are triggering the most views and submissions. Now, to enable forms tracking, you'll need to install and activate the forms add-on on your site. Navigate to Insights and go to Add-ons and find the forms add-on. Then click the Install button. Now, you can view your form conversion report by going to Insights and then Reports and finally visit Forms. Now, you can see how many impressions and conversions each of your forms has triggered. Now, the number of conversions refers to the total clicks on the Submit or Send button in your form. Now, let's look at how you can track file downloads. Monster Insights makes file download tracking very easy for WordPress users. You can set this feature up with just a couple of clicks. First, you'll need to go to Insights, then go to Settings, and next go to Engagement, and then scroll down to the File Downloads box. Once you're there, you can see the file extensions that Monster Insights tracks by default, and you can add other file extensions to the field separated by a comma to track other types of downloads as well. You can see your downloads report by going to Insights, and then go to Reports, and finally go to Publishers. Okay, let's see how to track outbound links. Monster Insights tracks your outbound link clicks automatically and shows you the reports in the Publishers Reports tab. To view that report, you'll need to have a plus plan or above. Now, once you're all set up, you can go to Insights and then go to Reports and finally head over to the Publishers tab and view the Outbound Links report. 
Next, I'm going to show you how simple it is to track media clicks. With the Monster Insights Media Tracking add-on, you can find out how many people are clicking to play the embedded videos on your site and whether they're watching all the way to the end. All you have to do is toggle tracking on for whichever type of videos that you have embedded. Then use Google Analytics to see your media tracking data. To learn more about media tracking, be sure to check out the link in the description to how to track video plays in Google Analytics. And now let's see how easy Monster Insights makes tracking custom links. Our custom link attribution feature allows you to easily add custom event tracking to your links. All you need to do is add the following data variable tag to the HTML of your link. I'll leave a link in the description to the code and also leave a link to our full tutorial on how to set up Google Analytics event tracking in WordPress. Now, once you add the tags, Monster Insights will send the link click data to Google Analytics 4 for you to use in your reports. And there you have it. Now you know how to set up Google Analytics link and button click tracking. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use it. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.